Hi! Today I have like a little extra as we're getting closer to Christmas when I'm going to be posting this one. Um, I did find her for about $5 plus shipping so she ended up being I think in total about $15. Um, box isn't in, isn't in that great a shape um, and honestly all I'm buying her for, or all I bought her for, was her hat and her outfit. So, um, box condition wasn't all that important to me. Um, she does have kind of a weird face. Let me see if I can get it to, uh, I mean it's pretty, but kind of, kind of a little strange. Not my taste, so I will be putting her on my whatnot um, to sell. Um, no plans on rebotting. Just wanted to show you this little blast from the the past. Um, so I was looking for a year. She does have two different languages on the back, and on the bottom is where you'll find she's from 2004, and. Uh, I've been looking for some cute little Christmas pieces for like dioramas and just pictures in general and something with pants so I really like these peppermint striped pants and so um, I like the, the hat with the holly on, on it but let me get her out of box and we'll see how she is like what's all with her in case you're interested in actually collecting her for your own collection so here she is and that's all that was in the box I don't know if she was gonna come with anything else pretty simple um, but yeah so um, let's see I remember these from when I was a kid for the hair. Not always my favorite thing to take out of the box. Let's see. Just kind of got like a mixture of stuff going on on the back here. Again, sorry about the voice. Um, if if I sound rough, here it comes. Um, the smoke did come back in around this area. Oh, Billy. I am working on finding better scissors, but as of right now, this is what I got. Need some little ones. Ah, I can get it. Oh, right. Had to pull it and stretch it a little bit. Throw those little pieces out. They hurt if you step on them. Alright. Oh, there's like one little one there. little cute presents. She's got a brush. Ooh, I like the paddle brush. I like these paddle brushes. I actually have a couple that are similar, um, but they have like the Barbie logo on them. This one's just plain. But yeah, so the box is really cute. Nice, simple. Alright, so here she is. And She's got the bend and stab knees. And let's see. So just in the back. Velcro. Looks like she has some tinsel in her hair. I know a lot of people who are not excited about tinsel in hair. So I'm right there with you. Alright, so her hat comes off pretty easy. That is so cute, by the way. Loving that. Gonna have to trim that little plastic jibber.
Yeah, just a little, like a little tinsel in the hair. Her hair is kind of staticky. Um, I have found that I have found conditioning it, doing a conditioning treatment. Um, not necessarily washing so much, because um, it it doesn't have like anything in it, but conditioning, and then. Um, dipping with conditioner in it into like hot water and then rinsing like for 30 seconds and then rinsing in cold um really does great wonders for frizz um and like poofy hair um tori here actually had that treatment and her hair is really silky now and uh, i did comb through it although she's been losing a lot of hair I was never big in hair play when I was a kid. And if anybody has ever wondered why the really choppy doll's hair is always choppy like this, like you've got the different lengths, I can tell you why. Because when they, when they root it and they cut it, it's not getting cut this way. It's getting cut this way. So it gets cut hanging like this. Oftentimes, cut. It's never cut then afterwards. And oh my goodness. Okay. Warning. Hair shedding. Some of these older dolls I have found shed. Um, but never as much as that one doll I got that wasn't Mattel. Dang, that was like, that was really bad. But I mean, she is brand new. Um, but yeah, she just has a little bit of tinsel at the top here, so it's not that bad. Um, anybody who hates tinsel may not, you know, care about the tinsel. And if you are doing the hot water dip method that I was just describing with the conditioner, I believe you're going to melt your tinsel, so, and like certain other hair types, so just be careful. I know it works good for some older dolls, um, mostly because I haven't melted it myself. And I never use straight up boiling water. I always like wait five, ten minutes for the water to like cool down a little bit before I do it, just so I'm not melting hair. Um, but the hot water mixed with the conditioner and then the cold water is kind of like what it is that does it so anyway here's her in her outfit and um, not a whole lot to it um, it is like separate here belt and the belt is attached but it is like like an actual piece it's not just printed on or anything she's got the fluffy neck and call neck oh my goodness fluffy collar, sleeve cuffs, and bottom hem, as well as, um, is that on the pants or the boots? Well, she's got something here at the bottom. Let's find out. <gasps> Standard black boots. Okay, okay. And these should fit made to move feet. Um, there's a couple that don't fit, and I'm, I have not had luck with, but... Okay, well that's nice to know. Look at this. The bottom part is separate, so you could have the option of having it without if you didn't want the fur at the bottom. That is really nice. I like, see, I like when they have that. Options. I like options. I get bored easily sometimes. Um, she's got a nice red lip and green eyes, which is nice. Um, she is a little... I don't know, something's off about her, her her eyes for me, um, but yeah, so little gloves like that, those should be really, and the hand is pretty similar to a made to move hand, so that'll be great, I know those will fit, and then, the pant is an elastic waist pant. And because she has the rubber leg, it's going to be harder to get off of. I always find that um, 
clothes fit better on the made to move leg. Um, like these pants will just slide right up. Oh, check that out. She has like a little mar on her foot from being in the boot. But yeah, okay. So, let's see. Ah, oh, it even works as like a little mini dress. Look at that. That's so cool. See? Options. See, and then you could put you could put the cuff on. Oh, here, turn it that way. You could put the cuff on and then the boot. And then she's got these little furry boots. That is so cute. See, I love options. Hard to get bored when you have mix and match options just with like one thing like, you know. Alright. Try to make this as easy as possible to get off. There we go. Alright. Just simple belly button doll. So she'll probably get a redress, maybe something a little icy, and she'll be up on my whatnot. So but she's got the red lip with green eyes. Hmm. We'll see. Nice doll. Fresh out of the box. And then, oh look, there's a tag. Genuine Barbie. Alright. I always like when they tag clothing pieces. It makes it easy to identify later. Alright. So that's it. I really like the pants. Everything seems really great. It's from the era where stuff was made decently well. Um, I feel like the Barbie was the cheapest part of the whole thing other than the hairbrush. And I really like the paddle brush. But yeah, like, pretty cool. So yeah. If you check out my Instagram, which will be in YouTube linked below, um, when that posts on you, when this posts on YouTube, um, you'll be able to link to my Instagram if you don't already follow me. And around Christmas time, end of December, um, you'll be able to see this outfit because it'll be one that I am going to be posting then. And I'll have other Christmas stuff too. Um, I always do after my birthday though, so, like, after the 10th, I will start stuff. We, we don't, we don't set up, decorate, or anything for Christmas until after. I hate my birthdays in December, but I know people who have their birthday a lot closer, and I'm glad I'm not one of them. But if you do have your birthday closer, I understand you know, you got your birthday with Christmas, it's a big holiday if you celebrate Christmas, and it can be not fun, especially when you're a kid, but it's cool. But yeah, so definitely um, keep an eye out, follow me on Patreon, YouTube, Instagram, whatnot. Um, look for my logo, Jennifer Louise, with the clovers and my initials in the center. I am. I have been posting that pretty much on anything. Just so you know, that's my logo. I created it myself. I carved it, created it. So, like, that is all me. And if you ever see anybody with that logo and it's not me, like, please report them or tell me or something. Tell me, that way I can report them. Just because I have like a lot of pages, but everything's linked. Jennifer Louise, um, or Jennifer Louise dolls. That's my whatnot. So check it out and keep an eye out in December for the little outfit. I love this. I'm gonna take so many pictures with it. This hat is so cute. I love the little holly leaf on the side. So cute. All right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate any support you're giving. If you're subscribed to anything, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my, my links listed below. Thank you so much. Very much appreciate you for watching and please share with anybody that you know might like and just share, share all my, my other stuff too. Thanks for your time. 
Bye.